three. So here we are as we start to wrap up uh, our broadcast tonight. Um, any last parting thoughts for our listeners and uh, viewers and readers, folks? I'll just say I feel pretty silly for what I said at the beginning of the broadcast of uh, not thinking this was going to be decided so soon <laughs> and that it was going to be a very late. Well, I was wrong. Same here. <laughs> Pretty sure that was the first thing I said. The non-result. So confident too. Look, look, rewind it and look how silly I am. If you yeah. want. Same, same here. Sure. <laughs> yes, please, please do all those clips of me, Warren. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I'm, I'm very intrigued to see where we go from here. Uh, my parting thought would be on a coverage spectrum being the editor who's going to read all of these uh, wonderful stories that are upcoming. Uh, I'm very interested to hear what our stakeholders have to say. You know, we have, uh, we came in with the wants and let's see what we come out with. Uh, so that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, and I'm also personally just looking forward to uh, where we go from here on a national spectrum and globally we're still in a pandemic and uh we have a lot of hurdles i think still to go so what are you Don? any party thoughts yeah you know what tomorrow you know the, it's, the timing isn't perfect but it, on the other hand it may be I, I i was trying to get uh people with the royal architectural institute of canada Previously, so not tomorrow after the election, I'll be talking to them about their four priorities. They, they're pretty progressive and identified four planks, some of some of which are uh, in a green building and indigenous building. So I'm going to sit down with them tomorrow and and maybe and maybe not talk about what are your views of the election, but talking about what they hope the next the the reelected Trudeau government is going to do to address these four policy positions of theirs. So. So it's an opportunity to uh, have a forward-looking conversation with them. So that's, and plus I'll be talking to other stakeholders and uh, gathering their, their reaction to the election. Anyone else want to come in with any last thoughts on what we saw tonight uh, kind of uh, roll out in front of us? No party fast. Well, look, uh, for our readers, our listeners, our viewers, you're going to have a lot of multimedia coverage. You know, there will be a highlight package of this live stream. We're TCR Express, our news uh, podcast episode that comes out every Wednesday. You're going to get a dose of election uh, insight and analysis there. Chances are in our longer form podcast as well, once everything is said and done, there will probably be a discussion around uh, the road ahead. Uh, with the currently projected liberal minority government. Uh, and um, all I can say is to everyone, just if you have an opinion, you know, if you want to reach one of our reporters, uh, Angela, Don, or us, you know how to get a hold of us via email, either at editor at dailycommercialnews.com or editor at journalofcommerce.com. You can find us on social media, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, we're, we're all there. Uh, we're going to have plenty of coverage. And what does a uh, liberal minority government projected as of 1145 Eastern right now <laughs> on September 20th? What does that government mean for this construction industry in Canada nationally and regionally? So uh, with that, I think it's safe enough that we can call to an end our first ever live stream broadcast of any sort, let alone for the election night. I want to thank my staff. I think you guys did a fabulous job. You did a fabulous job leading us up to this point, leading up the readers and our listeners. I don't think our industry could have been better informed. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for the work of everybody on the screen. You know what I mean? You guys did a tremendous job, and I thank you, and I thank you for executing this uh, broadcast. I am merely a face and a voice <laughs> when I'm here. You guys did all the heavy lifting, so uh, my thanks to you. Fabulous job. And um, we're looking forward to feedback, too. For those of us that did, for those of you that did pop in, if you're still with us here to the end, let us know what we did, what we should do differently next time when we try to do something like this. Chances are I can see one for year in review. You know what I mean? Maybe we're gonna have a little bit of fun like that. With that, thank you very much, everybody. Take care. <laughs>